Hello everyone! In today's lesson, we will talk about six great websites for teenagers. We are going to work with a course book prepared for the seventh grade, pages 60, 61. During our lesson, we'll find out about the six most popular websites among teenagers. We'll work on developing reading skills, finding and understanding relevant information for matching tasks, enrich our vocabulary, improve oral communication skills, and learn to express our own opinions and talk about interests and hobbies. Let's refresh your knowledge. What is the Internet? What do you use a website for? What is an app made for? The Internet is like a big connection of computers that talk to each other. It helps us find and share information. A website is like an online place where you can find information, play games, watch videos, shop or connect with friends. It's like a store on the internet where you can explore different things like news, music, fashion and more. An app is a small computer program made for phones or tablets, not regular computers. One of the first apps ever made was a game called Snake back in 1998. And what do you use websites and apps for? You can use them for chatting to friends, doing schoolwork, finding information, listening to music, playing games, reading articles, sharing photos or stories. Tell me about your preferences. Choose the things you use websites and apps for. Now identify your own favorite apps or websites. Why are you into them? What are the main functions of each of them? How much time do you spend using them? There are a lot of interesting websites and apps. My favorite one is Facebook. I am into it because I can use it for connecting with my friends, relatives, colleagues and people all over the world. Sharing photos and videos, sending messages, staying in touch with people in real time. To be honest, I try not to spend too much time on Facebook. So in total, I spend two hours a week. Now we are going to do our best to improve your reading skills. Look at the four short texts. Read what the people say. Which activities that we have just discussed do they want to do? Pause the video. Do the task within two minutes. 1. I'm working on a project about the human body at the moment and I'm interested in learning about animals. I like having fun online too. 2. I'm hoping to become a writer one day. I'd like to put my stories online and discuss ideas with people my age. 3. I like to know what is happening in the world. I'm also interested in music and would like to learn more about my favorite stars. 4. I'm interested in nature. I want to learn about ways to help the planet. I like making short films and want to share them with others. Now, let's check your answers. Pay attention to the highlighted words. Which activities does the first girl want to do? The first person, this lovely girl, is working on a project about the human body now. She would love to read articles about it. She is also interested in learning about animals. That's why she would try to find more information about them. And finally, the girl likes having fun online. For this reason, she would be happy to play games. The second person is hoping to become a writer, and he wants to put his stories online and discuss ideas with people of his age. Therefore, the appropriate activities for him are sharing stories and chatting to other people. The third girl likes to know what is happening in the world. 
Thus, she would be interested in reading articles. She is also into music and would like to learn more about her favorite stars. That's why she will be listening to music online and she will definitely try to find information about her favorite celebrities. The last boy is fond of nature and wants to learn about the ways to help the planet. For this reason, he will read the articles and find information on these issues. He also likes making short films and sharing them with others. That's why sharing and watching videos are also correct activities for him. Listen to the recording about six websites, which is the best for each person. Track 79 Six great websites for teenagers. A. Eco Central. This site is all about looking after the Earth. There are facts about different animals, as well as information about forests, deserts and oceans. You can upload your own videos onto the site for everyone to see. B. Teen Press. This is one of the best sites on the web for teenagers who love writing. You can share your work with others, and there is a message board where you can chat about things that are important to you. C. Channel 20. On this site, you can watch a daily news program and search for information about big news stories. There are also videos on different subjects, articles about famous bands, games and competitions. The app is free and works on all kinds of smartphones. D. Science Zone There's lots of information on this site about maths, chemistry and biology. You can visit some of the world's most famous museums and watch wildlife via webcams. There are also some very cool games, such as Save the Planet. E. Tune in. There are millions of songs on this site for you to download or listen to online. You can save your favourite songs in your own list. If you're in a band, you can record your music and upload it. The website is large, but the menu is easy to use. The app that goes with it is excellent. F. Inside the cover. Finding out about your favourite writers is easy on this site. There are lots of interesting articles and information about the latest books. You can read blogs by well-known writers and post questions and messages to them. There are links to other sites too. Now let's check your answers. The best website for the first girl is Science Zone under the letter D because there is lots of information about biology on this website. She can watch wildlife via webcams. The girl can also have fun playing cool games online. For the second boy, the most suitable website is Teen Press under the letter B, because this website is for those people who are interested in writing and working with others. The boy can also chat about important things with the people of his age. The most appropriate website for the third girl is Channel 20 under the letter C because she can watch daily news and search for information about big news stories. The girl can learn about famous bands, games and competitions. The correct answer for the last person is website Eco Central under the letter A as this site is about looking after the Earth 
different animals, forests, deserts and oceans. The boy can also upload his own videos onto the site to share with others. You have been working really well, so it's time to have a rest and enjoy doing some exercises. Oh, good morning! It's a new day and anything can happen. Let's wake up our bodies with some stretches. Now, we are going to work with the active vocabulary of the text. And the first task is to look at the red words in the text to find out what parts of speech they are, verbs, dieslova, or nouns, imenniki. To do the second task, you need to scan the QR code and define the proper part of speech, putting the words in the correct category. If you can't scan the QR code, do the task in your exercise books. All the words are on the screen. Now let's check the answers. The nouns are the site, the web, the menu, links, a message board, blogs. The verbs are search, download, save, upload, post and record. Let's go on and do some additional exercises to remember these words and their meaning much better. For this exercise, scan the next QR code and match the nouns to their definitions. I'm sure you've coped with the task easily and without making any effort. Now let's see the correct answers. A site is another way of saying website. The web is all the pages online that you can visit. A message board is a place where you can write for other people or reply to them. If you look at the menu, you can choose what to visit. Blogs are online diaries. And if you click on links, you go to another website. In order to remember the meaning of the verbs, do the last exercise, scanning one more QR code, and choose the correct verbs to complete the sentences. If you can't scan the QR code, do this exercise in your copybooks. And at last, let's check your answers. You can download the file from the Internet to your computer. You can upload a file from your computer onto a website. You can search for information online by typing a word into a box. You can record a short voice message and then share it with friends. You can save a document or other files on your computer so you don't lose them. You can post a message or a question on the Internet for others to read. Our lesson is coming to the end. The last step of it is to understand how to deal successfully with your home tasks. There will be three exercises for you to do them on your own. In the first exercise, you have to choose the correct words to complete the given sentences. In the second exercise, you should find six Internet words in the word search. The last exercise is devoted to using the verbs we've learned today, but don't forget to use the appropriate grammar form 
of each verb. And you should complete these sentences with the correct grammar form. Let's look at the correct answers. Exercise number one, where you have to choose the correct words to complete the sentences. Number one, click on the link to find out more about saving the planet. Number two, the verb was invented by T. Bernsley in 1989. Number three, Amazon is a very popular site. Number four, my sister writes a really interesting blog about video games. Number five, there are lots of pages on the site, so use the menu to find the pages you want. And the last one, number six, my brother likes writing comments on message boards. Now let's look at exercise number two and find six internet verbs. And they are post, save, upload, search, download, and record. And in the last exercise, exercise number three, you should complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs from exercise number two. So now let's read these sentences. I forgot to save the file and lost all my homework. Number two, Jury I uploaded her songs on YouTube last week and now she's got a lot of fans of her music. Number three, Jury likes posting messages on message boards. Number four, we downloaded a great new film onto my computer last night. We are going to watch it this weekend. Number five, Bartek recorded his friend singing a song and sent it to his other friends. And number six, I usually find the information I need when I search for it online. Let's summarize everything we have been focusing on. In today's lesson, we've done a lot of things. At first, we reminded what the Internet website and app are. Then, we've defined what people use website and apps for. And after that, all of you identified your own favorite websites. We have also learned what the greatest six websites for teenagers are. And next, you have improved your reading skills, learning how to do matching tasks correctly. Finally, you have enriched your active vocabulary with new words and nouns. I hope that the lesson was interesting and useful. Now let's look at this funny picture and realize which step you have reached today. And I expect that most of you have worked really hard and have reached the highest step. And definitely you are feeling pretty confident and good at doing such kinds of tasks.